this is what I'm going to build the zap I built one before many years ago and just used it on 40 meters and it worked quite well but I want to be on 15 now so I'm going to make uh, extra care on building it so this is all by George Murphy now the the elements as you see there is a broadside propagation antenna you probably already know of course so if, if the wire is north south you will be best propagation will be east west unless you can rotate it of course so there's George Murphy's calculations four feet and meters and that's what I used 598.5 for the horizontal two horizontal sections so you want two of those A and B it's not the total length it's just one element and you want two, like a dipole. Is this is the transmission? This is the um, open feeder that I used. So one four two times velocity factor. I use 0.95, and then I use 21. 150. So my antenna has actually been cut for 21,150 but I did uh, check on the length for 21,250 and it's about eighth of an inch more. Less, less. That's right, we're going up frequency so it will be shorter. One eighth not worth the trouble is it so there it goes for don't worry about that bit there so that's what I use for my calculations I'm measuring a length of wire and uh, for a zep for 15 meters and this is the best way I can think of getting it the length exact or near to exact as, as uh, humanly possible so there's three um, electricians blocks there trapping my tape and it's strapped at the other end by a tree but you'll find can find something now I'm going to use the middle one to put my wiring like that look okay so that'll go straight to the back to exactly where the the tape is trapped and then all I need to do is taut this very two and a half mil thick wire <laughs> and then use another electrician's to bend it over for the feeder so hopefully you can see that so that's what we're going to do so we're going to tighten this so that we can go to the other end we've already measured a length out about 11 meters but we only need about 10 and a half total for one leg and one feeder length six foot and a bit for sorry six foot and a bit for feeder length for the zip into a one-to-one -one and then 50 ohms according to George Murphy okay right. 
this there's 8.62 two of those digits and this end I'm looking at of this uh, block will be pulled with both hands and it will reach trust me to the 8.62 so it's this end I'm looking at which will be it's a bit difficult with one hand but two hands it does and trust me this this heavy duty wire doesn't stretch yes I know it's a bit of a rough but so this is it so this is how it will look and the downward vertical is my feeder so when we uh, do the other one we'll strap these both um, up together with uh, a couple of tie wraps to keep them at least an inch 25mm apart also right we've put the electrician's blocks at the end with a tie wrap so that uh, we can uh, pull it tight as possible well as possible it doesn't really need to be tight does it just as long as it doesn't flap about so that's what we're using you've seen this already haven't you Well this is all I've done for the centerpiece, right, and uh, these are insulation, this is insula the spaces are insulation from some thick cable, about 25mm, it's that plain, it was a motorbike, I'm complaining about it, so, homebrew insulation, so, 25mm apart and um, this is all I've done for the, the ballum and the, uh, the connection to the ballum it's uh, 8 foot of coax 7 or 8 turns so you work that out dead easy I've used this to lift up side of the balance so the rain runs runs down the not in the coax so it runs across the uh, the braid I don't know what coax it is it's very old but it's still doing a good job we'll have to invest in something a bit better I guess for the future I'll show you the SWR it didn't work too uh, uh, it's only on one part of the 15 meter band without the ballon. As soon as I put the ballon in, it's unbelievable. Uh, it's, all, it's the whole 15 metre band now. It's unbelievable. I'll show you. <laughs> Trust me, it is unbelievable. <laughs> whether we get any contacts or not, whether anyone can hear me, we'll give that a try as well. I've tried to make it as light as possible so the coax goes straight into the feeder. And uh, this seems to uh, work pretty good just taped up the, uh, the ballon and that's how it will will stand when it's up in the air we'll check the SWR now on the radio